Hi, Mikola. Welcome to the pilot video for my new gaming channel. They're, what? They're, they're killing the gaming channel? No, challenging the gaming channel. Who's doing that? YouTube? In a move that shocked even panicked the YouTube creator community, the platform's automated content ID system suddenly swept through the gaming channels last week, trolling for unlicensed intellectual property. It wasn't long before social media lit up with anguished cries of uploaders watching helpless as monetization was turned off for video after video. And the money spigots began to dry up. I'm not going to worry about it. This Christmas, as we all know, the hot gifts are a new generation of consoles. Sony's PS4, Microsoft's Xbox One. They don't need any more publicity from me. I'm going to make some news. I'm going to give you the first look at a new game entry. New entry in the game space. The Ream Pack 500. Uh, let me start with the unboxing. Uh, you'll notice that this box does not have a lot of extra padding. There's not a lot of... Uh, material, no styrofoam to throw away and fill landfills. It's very simply packaged, opens easily. This is perhaps the thinnest screen technology you will find on any console. Completely flexible, very bright, runs without batteries, no external power source, and ecologically sound. There's no lead, mercury, cadmium, no PVCs. This is completely recyclable. Now these are incredibly versatile. They're user programmable. They come with writing programs and drawing programs. But I'm not going to cover that here because this is a gaming channel, so let's play. Now here's a game suitable for all ages, although to be honest, people over five usually stop playing it. The game comes in three flavors. Uh, this is the all-region version. There's a North American version marketed as Tic-Tac-Toe, and in Britain they uh, market it as Knots and Crosses. I'm really impressed with the game controllers. Look at this. Breakthrough, really. Like the screen, it's untethered. Runs without power. I'm uh, looking at the adult controller here, but for this demo, I want to use the child-friendly controller. And since I'm more familiar with it, I'll be playing the US version tic-tac-toe. My model is not connected to the net, so I have to play against the machine. I'm going to play X, and I have the first move, X in a corner. And I expect the machine to counter with O in the center square. I mean, that, that's what I gather the smart move is. Any second now. We'll be seeing that O pop up. Uh, Machine obviously still um, calculating. It's probably running through a decision tree, testing first to test whether any move that it can make will win, and clearly at this stage of the game, no. Then it's going to test whether my next move will win, and if it needs to block. A win means I get three marks in a row, three X's in a row. I have to have two marks on the page in order to be able to win in the next move. No, there's no block necessary, so I, I guess what it's doing now is just trying to figure out its best move for a future win, and probably running through all the possible combinations with my X in the corner. And um, I would think it would have moved by now. Bottom line, uh, despite its lightness and thinness and ecological advantages, probably not your best bet as a game machine. But um, for the writing and drawing programs, I, I think it still might be in the running. Until next time, I'm Mikola.